The Borzoi, also called the Russian hunting sighthound, is a sighthound hunting breed of domestic dog. They are descended from the working dogs of people who migrated from Central Asian countries to Russia prior to the 17th century. The system by which Russians over the ages named their sighthounds was a series of descriptive terms, not actual names. Borzoi is the masculine singular form of an archaic Russian adjective that means fast. Borzoya sabaka, fast dog, is the basic term for sighthounds used by Russians, though sabaka is usually dropped. The name Savaya derived from the word Savina, which means wavy, silky coat, just as Hortaya, as in Hortaya Borzaya, means short-haired. In modern Russian, the breed commonly called the Borzoi is officially known as Ruskaya Savaya Borzaya. Other Russian sighthound breeds are Stepnaya Borzaya, called Stepnoi, and Krimskaya Borzaya, from the Crimea, called Krimskoy. The most commonly used plural form is the regular formation Borzois, which is the only plural cited in most dictionaries. However, the Borzoi Club of America and the Borzoi Club UK both prefer Borzoi as the form for both singular and plural forms. Appearance Borzois are large Russian sighthounds that resemble some Central Asian breeds such as the Afghan hound, Saluki, and the Kyrgyz Tegan. Borzois come in virtually any color. The Borzoi coat is silky and flat, often wavy or slightly curly. The long top coat is quite flat, with varying degrees of waviness or curling. The soft undercoat thickens during winter or in cold climates, but is shed in hot weather to prevent overheating. In its texture and distribution over the body, the borzoi coat is unique. There should be a frill on its neck, as well as feathering on its hindquarters and tail. Borzoi males frequently weigh more than 100 pounds, 45 kilograms. Males stand at least 30 inches, 76 centimeters, at the shoulder, while the height of females is around 26 inches, 66 centimeters. Despite their size, the overall impression is of streamlining and grace, with a curvy shapeliness and compact strength. Temperament The Borzoi is an athletic and independent breed of dog. Most Borzois are fairly quiet, barking on rare occasions. They do not have strong territorial drives and cannot be relied on to raise the alarm upon sighting a human intruder. The Borzoi requires patient, experienced handling. They are gentle and highly sensitive dogs with a natural respect for humans. Borzois do not generally display dominance or aggression towards people, but can turn aggressive if handled roughly. Typically, they are rather reserved with strangers, but affectionate with people they know well. Their sensitivity to invasion of their personal space can make them nervous around children, unless they are brought up with them. Borzois adapt well to suburban life, provided they have a spacious yard and regular opportunities for free exercise. A common misunderstanding about the intelligence of breeds in the hound group stems from their independent nature, which conflicts with the frequent confusion between the concepts of intelligence and obedience in discussions of canine brain power. Stanley Corrin's survey of canine obedience trainers published in The Intelligence of Dogs reported that Borzois obeyed the first command less than 25% of the time. Corrin's test, however, was by his own admission heavily weighted towards the obedience interpretation of intelligence and based on a better understanding of working breeds than hounds. Unfortunately, the publicity given to this report has led to unfair denigration of breeds which are underrepresented in obedience clubs and poorly understood by the average obedience trainer. Work for hound breeds is done out of hearing and often out of sight of the human companion. It is an activity for which the dogs are released rather than an activity which is commanded. In terms of obedience, Borzois are selective learners who quickly become bored with repetitive, apparently pointless, activity, and they can be very stubborn when they are not properly motivated. For example, food rewards, or baiting, may work well for some individuals, but not at all for others. Nevertheless, Borzois are definitely capable of enjoying and performing well in competitive obedience and agility trials with the right kind of training. Like other sighthounds, they are very sensitive and do not cope well with harsh treatment or training based on punishment and will be extremely unhappy if raised voices and threats are a part of their daily life. However, like any intelligent dog, Borzois respond extremely well to the guidance, support, and clear communication of a benevolent human leadership. Borzois were bred to pursue a coarse game and have a powerful instinct to chase things that run from them, including cats and small dogs. Built for speed and endurance, they can cover long distances in a very short time. A fully fenced yard is a necessity for maintaining any sighthound. They are highly independent and will range far and wide without containment, with little regard for road traffic. For off-leash exercise, a borzoi needs a very large field or park, either fully fenced or well away from any roads, to ensure its safety. Borzois are born with specialized coursing skills, but these are quite different from the dog fighting instincts seen in some breeds. It is quite common for Borzois at play to course another dog, seize it by the neck, and hold it immobile. Young pups do this with their littermates, trading off as to who is the prey. 
it is a specific hunting behavior, not a fighting or territorial domination behavior. Borzois can be raised very successfully to live with cats and other small animals provided they are introduced to them when they are puppies. Some, however, will possess the hunting instinct to such a degree that they find it impossible not to chase a cat that is moving quickly. The hunting instinct is triggered by movement and much depends on how the cat behaves. Health. Stated life expectancy is 10 to 12 years. Median lifespan based on a UK Kennel Club survey is 9 years 1 month. 1 in 5 died of old age at an average of 10 to 11.5 years. The longest lived dog lived to 14 years 3 months. Dogs that are physically fit and vigorous in their youth through middle age are more vigorous and healthy as elderly dogs, all other factors being equal. In the UK, cancer and cardiac problems seem to be the most frequent causes of premature death. Like its native relative the Hortoia borzoia, the borzoia is relatively sound breed. OCD, hip, and elbow dysplasia have remained almost unknown, as were congenital eye and heart diseases before the 1970s. However, in some countries modern breeding practices have introduced a few problems. As with other very deep-chested breeds, gastric dilatation volvulus, also known as bloat, is the most common serious health problem in the borzoi. This life-threatening condition is believed to be anatomical rather than strictly genetic in origin. One common recommendation in the past has been to raise the food bowl of the dog when it eats. However, studies have shown that this may actually increase the risk of bloat. Less common are cardiac problems including cardiomyopathy and cardiac arrhythmia disorders. A controversy exists as to the presence of progressive retinal atrophy in the breed. A condition identified as borzoi retinopathy is seen in some individuals, usually active dogs, which differs from progressive retinal atrophy in several ways. First, it is unilateral and rarely seen in animals less than three years of age. Second, a clear-cut pattern of inheritance has not been demonstrated. And finally, most affected individuals do not go blind. Correct nutrition during puppyhood is also debatable for borzois. These dogs naturally experience enormous growth surges in the first year or two of their lives. It is now widely accepted that forcing even faster growth by feeding a highly concentrated, high-energy diet is dangerous for skeletal development, causing unsoundness and increased tendency to joint problems and injury. Being built primarily for speed, borzois do not carry large amounts of body fat or muscle and therefore have a rather different physiology to other dogs of similar size, such as the Newfoundland, St. Bernard, or Alaskan Malamute. Laboratory formulated diets designed for a generic large or giant breed are unlikely to take the needs of the big sighthounds into account. The issues involved in raw feeding may be particularly relevant to tall, streamlined breeds such as the borzoi. The Hortoia borzoia, a very close relative, is traditionally raised on a meager diet of oats and table scraps. The Hortoia is also said to be intolerant of highly concentrated kibble feeds. A lean body weight in itself is nothing to be concerned about, and force feeding of healthy young borzoi is definitely not recommended. History. The borzoi originated in 17th century Russia by crossing Arabian sighthounds with a thick coated breed. The more modern Savaya borzoi was founded on Stepnaya, Hortaya, and the Ukrainian Polish version of the Old Hort. There were also imports of Western sighthound breeds to add to the hide and weight. It was crossed as well with the Russian Lyca specifically and singularly to add resistance against northern cold and a longer and thicker coat than the southern sighthounds were equipped with. All of these foundation types, Tazi, Hortaya, Stepnaya, Krumskaya, and Hort, already possessed the instincts and agility necessary for hunting and bringing down wolves. The Sovoy was popular with the Tsars before the 1917 revolution. For centuries, Sovoy could not be purchased, but only given as gifts from the Tsar. Grand Duke Nicholas Nikolaevich of Russia bred countless Sovoy at Perchino, his private estate. The Russian concept of hunting trials was instituted during the era of the Tsars. As well as providing exciting sport, the tests were used for selecting borzoi breeding stock, only the quickest and most intelligent hunting dogs went on to produce progeny. For the aristocracy these trials were a well-organized ceremony, sometimes going on for days, with the borzois accompanied by mounted hunters and foxhounds on the Russian steppe. Hares and other small game were by far the most numerous kills, but the hunters especially loved to test their dogs on wolf. If a wolf was sighted, the hunter would release a team of two or three borzois. The dogs would pursue the wolf, attack its neck from both sides, and hold it until the hunter arrived. The classic kill was by the human hunter with a knife. Wolf trials are still a regular part of the hunting diploma for all Russian sight dog breeds of the relevant type, either singly or in pairs or trios, in their native country. After the 1917 revolution, wolf hunting with sighthounds has soon gone out of fashion as an aristocratic and a means and time-taking way of hunting. 
a necessity in a wolf catching sighthound didn't exist, in addition to the old proof technique of Bachu with the use of baits, flags and other appeared new, way more effective, from airplanes, from propeller sleighs, with electronic lure whistles. For decades the generations of few remaining sighthounds were regarded as hunting suited when showing enough attacking initiative for fox hunting. The rumors about persecution of sighthounds in post-revolutionary Russia is a legend of modern times, possibly based on similar incidents in Mao's China. In the late 1940s, a Soviet soldier named Konstantin Esmond made detailed records of the various types of borzoi he found in Cossack villages. Esmond's illustrations were recently published and can be viewed by clicking on the link below. Esmond was concerned that the distinct types of borzoi were in danger of degenerating without a controlled system of breeding. He convinced the Soviet government that borzois were a valuable asset to the hunters who supported the fur industry and henceforth, their breeding was officially regulated. To this day short-haired Hortaya borzaya are highly valued hunting dogs on the steppes, while the long-haired Savaya borzaya is going through a hard period of restoration of its working qualities after decades of shadow, mainly show existence. Exports of borzois to other countries were extremely rare during the Soviet era. However, enough had been taken to England, Scandinavia, Western Europe, and America in the late 19th century for the breed to establish itself outside its native country. Borzois. The borzois is the symbol of Alfred A. Knopp Publishing House. Tasha, a female borzois belonging to the noted vet Buster Lloyd Jones, was born in the UK during the Second World War and is the pedigree ancestor of most British borzois bloodlines. Ben was the white male borzois, beloved of Edward J. Smith, captain of the Titanic. There exists a photo of the captain and his dog outside his cabin on the ship. The dog was not, however, on the maiden voyage. Kolchak has been the mascot of the 27th Infantry Regiment since the regiment participated in the Siberian intervention. The 27th Infantry had been nicknamed the Wolfhounds in recognition of their endurance during battles in Siberia. In popular culture. Leo Tolstoy's 1869 novel War and Peace contains an extensive wolf hunting scene with Borzois in Book 7, Chapters 3-6. The 1968 film version of the novel, War and Peace, contains a hunting scene with borzois from the kennel of Akaga Sweden. F. Scott Fitzgerald's second novel, The Beautiful and Damned, 1922, contains a scene in which Gloria compares Anthony to a Russian wolfhound. Anthony decides to take this as a compliment. Anthony remembered that they were white and always looked unnaturally hungry. But then they were usually photographed with dukes and princesses, so he was properly flattered. George Bernard Shaw and his Everybody's Political What's What. 1944, wrote the future of mankind belongs to its mongrels and not to its handsome but brainless borzois. Ivan, one of the protagonists of the historical novel by the Cuban writer Leonardo Padura Fuentes, El Hombre que amaba los perros, the man who loved dogs, is the editor of a university journal of veterinary medicine, who manages to make a living during the special period in Cuba by helping people take care of their dogs. The novel alludes to Ivan's own dogs as well as to borzoi dogs owned by Leon Trotsky and his assassin, Ramon Mercator. A borzoi features prominently in a music hall review in the short story Cousin Teresa by Saki, H. H. Monroe. In the book The Romanov Prophecy, 2004, by Steve Barry in the Anime Karashitsuji, Japanese for Black Butler, Seal Phantomhev as a child had a black borzoi named Sebastian. He named the demon with which he made a Faustian contract after this dog. Uncle Zeke starred as Digger in the 2000 Disney film, 102 Dalmatians The Borzoi Brothers, Rocket, Missile, and Jed and Ginga Densetsu Weed Boris in Walt Disney's 1955 film Lady, and the Tramp Doors Prince Igor owned by Barbara Todd, Zerlov, and bred by Andre Legier, appears in the 1969 film, Hello Dolly. When Katniss Everdeen and Peter Mellark arrive at the capital in the 2012 film The Hunger Games, a pair of pink borzois are shown on screen, an illustration of the capital resident's gaudy lifestyle. Borzois can also been seen in cameo roles in the films Love at First Bite, Legends of the Fall, Nachi Boy Excalibur, All Dogs Go to Heaven, 1989, Bride of Frankenstein, Easter Parade, Wolfen, Ziegfeld Follies, Onigen, 1999, Gangs of New York, 2002, Chaplin, The Avengers, TV series, Jag, Maverick, 1994, Sleepy Hollow, Last Action Hero, and A Knight's Tale, on the DVD deleted scenes. Mademoiselle Knobs from Pink Floyd, Live at Pompeii, 1971, who sings a song with the band. Lindell Ackerman's Nessie C.H. Windy Glenn's finesse in the TV show Wings. In an SCTV parody commercial for fictional poocher dog food, a borzoi dog is seen, being taken for a walk by Eugene Levy. In episode 2 of the first season of the An I'm Madaka Box, one of the requests for the student council is to find a missing puppy, which turns out to be a borzoi. It has grown quite large since it was lost. This also happens in the manga version. A borzoi is one of the dogs to appear in the film Cats and Dogs. 
It is seen during the council session scene. In the game, the Arcana, there are two dogs, named Mercedes and Melchior, that are claimed to be pure white borzois. They were accumulated when their owner, Lucio, was trying to find his familiar using magic. The breed is featured in a more tolls novel A Gentleman in Moscow, notably in a scene where two borzois create havoc in their unsuccessful attempt to corral the hotel cat in the lobby of a luxury hotel in Moscow. In art. In 2004, the UK Kennel Club held its fourth temporary exhibition, The Borzoi in Art, which offered unique insights into the Borzoi and how the breed has been depicted in art throughout the 19th and 20th centuries. The exhibition included paintings, bronzes, and porcelain which had previously not been available to the public. The exhibition ran from 27 September to 3 December. The Borzoi is frequently found in Art Deco period works. Puppy Price Average US$1,000 to US$2,000 Thank you.